In this video, we'll learn how to be accountable. There comes a certain time in your life when you realize that now you are accountable for everything you do. The idea is quite daunting as accountability is needed in all spheres of life. In some situations, you have to be accountable for yourself alone, while in others, you're accountable for others as well. Take responsibility. The first step of being accountable is to take responsibility. Now, it might be a personal responsibility or one that affects others around you. For instance, if you're the head of a family, you have to be accountable to them too. Or if you're leading an excursion tour, you have to be accountable to your tour group. Remember this, with great power comes great responsibility. So take full responsibility of your actions and don't make excuses if something goes wrong. You need to realize that you're in charge and it's only you who's accountable. So take the responsibility of your action and theirs too. It's easy to throw someone else under the bus for anything that goes wrong, but the mature thing to do is to take responsibility rather than make excuses. The tour didn't reach its destination on time. Are you going to blame someone from the group for not coming on time? Are you going to take responsibility for not making the instructions clear enough? The choice is up to you. Always remember, it is mature to be accountable for yourself. It might not be the best feeling in the world at the time being, but you will feel much content later. Say it out loud that you'll do it. Positive affirmation is very important, so it's crucial to keep reminding yourself that you will do it. Sometimes you get sidetracked by events or people, but you mustn't let this be permanent. You're also accountable to yourself for your mission or goal in life. You have to determine what you want to do or achieve in life. Ask yourself what you're good at or what you like. Base your goals and long-term plans on your capabilities, desires, and strengths. Make a mission statement for yourself. Write it down somewhere so that you can read it every day. Many people have inspirational quotes on their walls or phone screen so that they look at them every day. In this way, they get inspired every day, even on ones that are not so good. But if you're someone with a knack for writing, write down your goals. Make sure to write it in a place where you can see it every day. If it stares you in the face, you can't run away from it. Or if you have supportive peers, get feedback from them. Ask them if you're doing things right or if you need to improve. This will help remind you that you need to do better. Also, it will give you an insight into how others perceive your efforts. If you're in a workplace, your subordinates can also tell you how well you're doing. If the feedback is positive, it'll motivate you to do even better and have a sense of accomplishment. And if the feedback's not positive, you can use it to improve performance as you're the one who will eventually be accountable. Either way, feedback can do wonders if only to hold yourself accountable. Be honest. Just as accountability is important, so is honesty. It's very important to be honest about the results. When you're working alone or in a team, you have to stay honest about the outcome of your efforts. Success only becomes possible when you own up to your mistakes. While they can be cumbersome, mistakes are also valuable learning opportunities. If you've done something wrong, own it. Ask yourself why it happened and what you can do to make it right. If you totally ignore it or lie about it to yourself and others, how can you ever hope to rectify it? Plus, when you're not honest with yourself, you'll always have a constant feeling of dissatisfaction. Your conscience won't let you forget it. So wouldn't it be better to just admit it? Also, be honest about the goals you set. Be realistic. Holding yourself accountable for your actions is also a reality check to set goals that are attainable. Realism is essential when setting goals. Say you want to save money for a car and you tell yourself that you will do it in a year's time. Now, you need to be real about it. Do you have enough income coming in every month that you can save some of it for buying a car? Are you ready to cut out some expenses so that you can save? Will you be able to manage it in a year or do you need more time? If you think your goals are realistic, proceed with them. Then, if you fail to buy a car in 12 months, don't make excuses or blame something else for it. Ask yourself why you weren't able to do it. Maybe you set the wrong time frame or misspent the money that you could have saved on unnecessary things. Be fully honest with yourself about the results of your personal quest or teamwork. 
A good way to prevent disappointment or unpleasant situations is to have a plan B so that you could fix things later. Being accountable can be a frightening thought because no one likes to be judged, especially for something that someone else did. But if you follow the right strategy and put in the effort, you'll be able to master the art of accountability.